Hello, and welcome to Nerdy on Real Dev. And today we're going to be looking at uh, foliage in Unreal, uh, particularly static mesh foliage. Uh, so as many of you are well aware, Unreal has some really great tools, not just for placing objects, but we've also got landscape tools, uh, which is what you're seeing here, just basic landscape and a random blob that was painted oddly. And we've also got foliage tools. And what the foliage tools uh, allow us to do is just paint in uh, meshes into a scene. Uh, typically these would be like grass or trees or rocks. Uh, you can also paint in other things. Like we've got some barrels here that we could paint in. And Unreal has two methods, uh, actor foliage. So what the actor foliage does is it places individual meshes onto into the scene, which can be very costly. It is good if you're going for more destructive sort of thing, or basically you need to interact with it. Uh, static mesh uh, foliage, as you can see here, is a foliage type that will use mesh instancing and is optimal for non-interactive foliage. So what that means is that with static mesh foliage, uh, you're able to put in a whole ton of assets, but it's one draw call. It's, it's basically rendered in as a batch, and it's cheaper than individual actors. And there's a few couple ways you could do this. You could either add foliage type. Um, so static mesh foliage. Save that. Obviously, you want to actually put that in a folder. And then you click on it. And you just drag in a mesh, drag in the barrels. Uh, and you notice here it's unchecked. You want to check that. And then you see this little uh, purple orb. And that's our brush. And I just painted in a whole bunch of barrels. And you can also uh, change the brush size. So bring that down. You do need it to be of a certain size. So if you have it at like um, 10, you're probably not going to see it. Um, but if you have it at um, 200, get a little brush. The meshes don't, the mesh size doesn't change. That's the key thing here. Uh, you can also uh, change the density so you can lower the amount of barrels that are, or whatever you're painting in that are within a uh, stroke. Uh, some of it, you can kind of see with the mountains that it's not, it's doing some slight angles, but it's not doing steep angles. And then the erase. So if you hold down shift, you're able to erase and you can either erase everything or uh, if you, you can increase this and only erase some things. So you could, um, so say you were using a tree, you could paint in a whole ton of trees and then only erase some of them to give it a more random sort of sparse look. So shift, left click, just drag, and that's how you erase. Um, another way to put static meshes is, is just drag it. If you see the yellow, that means it can be used. And, um, oh, because I have both uh, the tree and the barrels active, one um, brush stroke puts in both trees and barrels. Uh, so if you want to paint one but not the other, you need to deselect. And you'll notice that because I have trees uh, selected, it's only erasing trees. So I would need to do that to erase the barrels. Uh, you do have a um, few other options. So, oops, that's kind of cool that you can 
paint both the uh, barrels and the trees. So reapply settings to instances. You can select the um, items. So uh, lasso select. And you can also, you have a paint bucket. Uh, moving the uh, uh, meshes wasn't really working in select. Uh, used to select individual instances for moving, deleting. So according to the documentation, uh, you can in select mode. Um, oh, there we go. So I don't know what I just pressed, but yeah, so you can select individual ones if need be. Guess that was a little rendering error. So if you like how it mostly looks, but you know, you just didn't like where that one tree ended up or that one barrel, just hit delete after selecting. And yeah. Oh, another thing to note. Uh, so notice these filters. These filters are telling you what you can um, place foliage on top of. So this is telling me foliage can go on top of landscapes, static meshes, uh, blueprint, BSPs, uh, on other foliage. So you can put foliage on top of foliage and translucent geometry. If you have this unclicked, you cannot put foliage anywhere. Now some of you might be noticing there's a spear. There, there's the brush. What's going on? Well, to show this, it's not moving. Okay. Well, I have a uh, plane here that was intended to just show up. But basically, when it's not Z fighting, uh, you can also just put foliage on top of a plane. So you don't necessarily need a big fancy landscape. All you need is just a plane. So, or anything. You grab a cube. I, why is this locked? Oh, for some odd reason, the position grid snap value got brought all the way up to... 1,000. I'm not sure how that happened. That would explain why I wasn't able to move uh, these when selecting them. So you can see these, these also ended up on top of the plane. So now I can actually move the plane. So you see this plane here has some foliage on top of that. So yeah, so you can put foliage on top of either landscape or plane. Um, keep an eye out for this. Make sure it doesn't get to 10,000 grid size or snap value. Snap size 10,000. You don't want that. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of foliage. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and even donating to my coffee. Have a good one.